today i will discuss the examples on numerical based on arc energy theorem in the last video we have discussed the theory about arc energy theorem its statement and its proof now the first numerical is that under the action of a force a 3 kg body moves such that x equal to t square by 2 where position x is in meter and t is in second we have to find out the work done in first 3 second so what should be the approach the approach is that we know work done equal to change in kinetic energy that means we have to find out the initial kinetic energy and then final kin kinetic energy so to have the kinetic energy the first approach should be to find out the velocity and the given equation that will help us to find out the velocity is x equal to t square by 2 so let us write down the given equation that is x equal to t square by 2 we know the first order derivative of the position or distance will give the speed or velocity that is dx dt will provide provide 2t by 2 that is t so this is the velocity actually velocity v is equal to t now we have to find out the work done in first 3 second so find out the velocity initially that is initial velocity is equal to initial velocity means you have to find out the velocity at t equal to 0 so put 0 in place of t that is it becomes 0 meter per second now we have to find out the velocity at t equal to 3, t equal to 3 second that is final velocity will be put 3 in place of t so it will become 3 meter per second so we have final velocity which is 3 meter per second and initial velocity which is 0 meter per second so what will be the work done work done will be work done will be change in kinetic energy change in kinetic energy mathematically half m vf square minus half m vi square ok so it will be half m vf square minus vi square now what is the given value of mass the given value is the given value is 3 kg 3 kg so put the value of mass that is 3 kg so w becomes w is equal to half into 3 into final velocity 3 square minus initial velocity 0 square so the result is so the result is w is equal to half into 3 into 3 into 3 joule so it will be w equal to W is equal to uh, 927 by 2 joule that is 13.5 joule. This will be the answer. Now consider second numerical in which a graphical representation of force versus displacement is given as Second numerical is the force versus displacement curve is given as x is in meter okay, and force is in newton. The curve is like that. Okay. The value of this part is 10 newton. This is origin this is x equal to 4 meter ok this is x equal to 8 meter 
एंड दिस इज एक्स इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व मीटर ओके वट इज द क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन इज द क्वेश्चन इज इफ ए पार्टिकल ऑफ मास जीरो पॉइंट वन के जी इज सब्जेक्टेड टू ए फोर्स इज सब्जेक्टेड टू ए फोर्स एज सोनी फिगर ओके इफ इट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम रेस्ट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम रेस्ट If it starts its journey from rest at x equal to zero, at x equal to zero, find its velocity, find its velocity at x equal to twelve meter. So we have to find out the velocity at its position. The given data directly suggests that the particle is starting from rest, so the initial velocity v i or u is equal to zero. We have to find out the velocity at this position. We know from work energy theorem, w is equal to change in kinetic energy, and we also know that a curve, which is force versus the displacement curve. then the area under this curve that is this portion will give the amount of work done so from the curve we can easily find out by finding its area the amount of work done what will be the value work done from the figure work done is equal to Area under the FX curve, force versus displacement curve. This is a triangle. Find out its area. It will be half into base into height. Base is four, and height is ten. Okay. What will be the area of this portion? This part is eight minus four means four. Into this part is ten. Okay. And the area of this part will be half into base into height. So it will be again half into base means twelve minus eight that is four. Into height is ten. So this is the amount of work done from x equal to zero to x equal to twelve meter. It becomes forty by two means twenty. This is forty. This is twenty again. Joule. So it becomes eighty joule. So we have find out the amount of work done W from this curve, which is actually eighty joule. Now apply work energy theorem that will lead you to the Velocity at x equal to twelve meter. From our energy theorem, we know we know W is equal to half m v f square minus v i square. Now W is eighty. Mass was actually zero point one kg from the given data, and velocity at the final position had to be calculated. We know we don't know this, but V I is given. It's starting from rest. That means it is zero square. So we can find out the value of V I from this equation. That will lead us. Eighty is equal to calculate this zero point one. That means 
block of mass 5 kg is resting on a smooth surface so from the given data vi or u that is initial velocity is zero the mass of the block is 5 kg we have to find out the angle a force of 20 newton be acted on the body so that it will acquire kinetic energy of 40 joule here the kinetic energy is 40 joule and the displacement is 4 meter. Okay. Apply work energy theorem. Work energy theorem is W equal to half m Vf square minus Vi square. Okay. Again, work done is equal to force into displacement. That is Fd cos theta. We have to find out theta value actually. Here force 20 newton displacement is actually uh, 4 meter mass is 5 kg half m vf square the body starting from the rest so put 0 in place of vi so it becomes half m vf square actually now putting the given data Mass is 5 kg. Okay. Force is 20 Newton. Displacement is 4 meter. We don't know, we don't know the value of theta. And half m vf square. That is final kinetic energy that has acquired actually. Which is 40 joule. So put 40 joule here. Now, we can easily find out the value of theta, which is cos theta equal to 40 by 4 into 20 means 80. So, it becomes half. So, cos theta 
is equal to half. That means theta equal to cos inverse half, which is actually 60 degree. Thanks for watching.